Jacksonville police say Shirley Blakely had multiple injuries to her body. We're told her son found her dying at her Beaver Brook Place home after being attacked three days after her home was hit by gunfire. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Jones is live outside of JSO. Brittany, you were at the vigil tonight. The family says they want answers. Yes, Janice, and the family tells me the man who they believe is responsible for Shirley Blakely's death is here in the jail facing a different charge. But tonight, as you can imagine, it was very emotional at that vigil, and they're just asking why anyone would want to hurt her. Lord, it's difficult for us to understand things, Lord. Shirley Blakely's loved ones are praying for strength. And she spoke to me how she had been praying. And that's what we have to do. A wife, a mother, sister, and a grandmother who was loved by so many. You could see that love tonight as people showed up in numbers to remember her. I love you, baby. I don't want to be like this. I want to grow old with 99.9. We did have fun. They lit candles, shared memories, and you could barely spot a dry eye. It's just hard, you know what I'm saying? Because she ain't never bothered nobody, so that junk just hurt me in the inside. But God gonna handle it. The 54-year-old was killed Wednesday during an attack at her home. While it's still unclear how Blakely died and exactly who killed her, but her loved ones want to know why. She one of those one in a million people. Those people who you can never go find or pay somebody to make, she was irreplaceable, and I love her with everything I got in me. A real family gem gone too soon, but as the balloons were released, they made sure Blakely knows how much she will always be loved. I really love my grandma. I'm going to miss my grandma forever. Now, I spoke to Blakely's husband tonight, and he still said it's just too hard for him to talk right now. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, The Local Station.